The Order of Poor Clerics Regular of the Mother of God of the Pious Schools Latin, Ordo Clericorum Regularium Pauperum Matris Dei Scholarum Pierum, sch. P. or sp. or, in short, Pierists, is the oldest Catholic educational order, also known as the Scolopi, Escolapios or Poor Clerics of the Mother of God in both cases clerics can also become clerks, from the same etymology. Founded in 1617 by St. Joseph Calisanctius, the main occupation of the Pierist Fathers is teaching children and youth, the primary goal being to provide free education for poor children. The Pierist practice was taken as a model by numerous later Catholic societies devoted to teaching, while the state-supported public school system in certain parts of Europe also followed their example. The Pierists have had a considerable success in the education of physically or mentally disabled persons. Some famous individuals of the last few centuries, including Pope Pius IX, Goya, Schubert, Gregor Mendel, and Victor Hugo, were taught at Pierist schools. History Joseph Calisans Joseph Calisanctius also known as Joseph Calisans or José de Calisans, and whose religious name was Josephus a Mater Dei, was born in 1557. He founded the first Catholic teaching order and had it initially recognized as a religious congregation by the Holy See on 6 March 1617. Calisans, a native of Peralta de la Salle in the Spanish province of Huesca in Aragon, was born on of September 1557. He was the youngest of eight children, and he studied at Lida and Alcala, and after his ordination to the priesthood on December 17, 1583, by the Bishop of Urgell, he moved to Rome 1592, where he organized, in 1607, a brotherhood. In November 1597, he opened the first free public school in Europe at Santa Dorotea. While it was considered a school of the confraternity of Christian doctrine, it was unique from the 22 other schools of the confraternity, which just taught catechism classes. The school opened by St. Joseph Calisans also taught secular subjects. The pious schools expanded and were financially supported by Popes Clement VIII and Paul V. St. Joseph suffered a crippling accident, but it did not stop him. On 6 March 1617, the Pierist Fathers became an independent congregation called the Pauline Congregation of the Poor of the Mother of God of the Pious Schools. When Pope Paul V issued his brief, Ad Ea Per Quae, on 25 March 1617, Calisans and fourteen other priests became the first members of the new community when they received the religious habit. Calisans was placed in charge of the new congregation, and he changed his name to Joseph of the Mother of God, thus inaugurating the practice of dropping the family name on entering the religious life. The new congregation was the first religious institute dedicated to teaching. To the three usual vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience, the new congregation added a fourth vow, that of dedication to the Christian education of youth, especially the poor. Soon the pious schools began to expand outside of Rome. In June 1616, St. Joseph Calisans opened a foundation of the pious schools at Tusculo in the summer resort of Frascati. The school, which is still in operation, opened in August 1616, and St. Joseph brought to it a painting of the Mother of God, Our Lady of Grace. He then opened schools in Narni 1618, which is located 42 miles from Rome and is where he completed writing his constitutions, Morricone 1619, Magliano 1620, and Norcia, Carcare, and Fanano all 1621. The congregation was made a religious order 18 November 1621 by a brief of Pope Gregory XV, under the name of Congregatio Clericorum Regularium Pauperum Matris Dei Scholarum Pierum. The term, Pauline, was dropped by this pope, although it had been part of the original name due to Pope Paul V. The constitutions were approved 31 January 1622 by Gregory XV, and had all the privileges of the mendicant orders conferred upon it, Calisans being recognized as general superior, his four assistants being Blessed Pietro Cassani, Viviano Vivani, Francesco Castelli and Paolo Ottonelli. On May 7 of the same year the novitiate of Saint Onofrio was opened. The order began growing rapidly. It soon expanded into Liguria, and between 1621 to 1632, established schools at Carcare, Savona, two at Genoa, and a short-lived one at Carmagnola. The first Pierist province was established in 1623 in Liguria. 
The Roman province would be formally established in 1626. Meanwhile, in Rome, Cardinal Tondi gave a property to St. Joseph, which opened in 1630 with eight students as Collegio Nazareno. It soon became the flagship school of the pious schools in Rome. There was a failed attempt in 1625 to establish schools in Naples, but after another attempt, the province of Naples would be established in 1627. Between 1630 to 1641, several schools were opened in Tuscany. They were closed briefly following an outbreak of the plague, but they were soon reopened, and Tuscany would become a province in 1630. One of the most famous of these schools was the school at Abacus, which emphasized mathematics and science. It also offered an algebra course for adults, and it opened a school for nobles. In 2007, the four Italian provinces merged into a single Italian province. Next, the pious schools expanded into Central Europe. Cardinal Dietrichstein invited the pious schools to come to Moravia, which is now part of the Czech Republic. On April 2, 1631, the Laurentine School was opened in Nikolsburg with eight teachers and nine students. Within a week the number of students increased to 16, and within a month there were over 100 students. In 1634, a novitiate was opened in Leipzig, and in 1640 a school was opened in Litomyslia in Bohemia. The first purist province established outside of Italy was the province of Bohemia and Moravia, which was established in 1634. Duke George Orsolinski was instrumental in bringing the pious schools into Poland and Hungary, which soon became the countries with the two largest number of purist foundations in Central Europe, with 28 foundations in Poland and 29 in Hungary. In 1642, King Ladislaus IV invited the pious schools to establish a foundation in Varsovia, followed by a school in Podolin. The purist province of Germany and Poland was established in 1642. Count Lubomirski introduced the order into Poland, and he is considered the creator of the province of Hungary, which came about from the school in Podolin, located on the boundary line with Poland. The first purist school was opened in Hungary in 1642. The pious schools next expanded to the two large islands off the coast of Italy where they opened houses in Palermo and Messina in Sicily and then opened two houses at Colliery in Sardinia. There was one attempt to open a house in the homeland of the founder during his lifetime. In 1637, the order tried to open a house in Gusona in Spain, but the first actual house to open in Spain opened 40 years later, in 1677, in Barbastro. The first Spanish province was the province of Aragon, which was established in 1742. The province of Catalonia was established in 1751, as was the province of Austria. Three more provinces would be added in Spain, one in each of the next three centuries, Castile 1753, Valencia 1833, and Vasconia 1933. Added to them was the General Delegation of Spain in 1929. The pedagogical ideal of St. Joseph Calisanctius of educating every child, his schools for the poor, his support of the heliocentric sciences of Galileo Galilei, the scandals and persecutions of some of his detractors, and his life of sanctity in the service of children and youth, carried with them the opposition of many among the governing classes in society and in the ecclesiastical hierarchy. In 1642, as a result of an internal crisis in the congregation and outside intrigues and pressures, Calisans was briefly held and interrogated by the Inquisition. According to Karen Liebreich, problems were exacerbated by Father Stefano Cherubini, originally headmaster of the Purist School in Naples who sexually abused the pupils in his care. Father Stefano made no secret about at least some of his transgressions, and Calisans came to know of them. Unfortunately for Calisans as administrator of the order, Father Stefano was the son and the brother of powerful papal lawyers, no one wanted to offend the Cherubini family. Father Stefano pointed out that if allegations of his abuse of his boys became public, actions would be taken to destroy the purists. Calisans, therefore, promoted Father Stefano, to get him away from the scene of the crime, citing only his luxurious diet and failure to attend prayers. However, he knew what Cherubini had really been up to, and he wrote that the sole aim of the plan is to cover up this great shame in order that it does not come to the notice of our superiors. Superiors in Rome may have suspected, but it seems that they bowed to the same family ties that had bound Calisans. Cherubini became visitor general for the Purists, able to conduct himself just as he wanted in any school he visited. 
The Pierists became entangled in church politics, and partially because they were associated with Galileo, were opposed by the Jesuits, who were more orthodox in astronomy. Galileo's views also involved atomism, and were thought to be heretical regarding transubstantiation. The support for Cherubini was broad enough that in 1643, he was made the head of the order and the elderly Calisans was pushed aside. Upon this appointment, Calisans publicly documented Cherubini's long pattern of child molestation, a pattern that he had known about for years. Even this did not block Cherubini's appointment, but other members of the order were indignant about it, although they may have objected to Cherubini's more overt shortcomings. With such dissension, the Vatican took the easy course of suppressing the order. In 1646, the order was deprived of its privileges by Pope Innocent X, but the order was restored ten years later by Pope Alexander VIII. Calisans, who died on 25 August 1648, was beatified in 1748, and canonized in 1767. He was declared, "...universal patron of all the Christian popular schools in the world," by Pope Pius XII, in 1948, because he had the glory of opening the first free tuition, popular, public school in Europe," von Pastor and had proclaimed the right to education of all children, fought for it, and was persecuted because of this. The Purist Order expands the Pierists first established a community outside the continent of Europe in 1767 when the Pierist father Basilio Sancho was appointed as the 17th Archbishop of Manila in 1765, having been recommended for the position by King Charles III. Sancho and four other Pierists arrived in Manila in March 1767. The four other Pierists helped Archbishop Sancho plan the first provincial synod of Manila. Archbishop Sancho established a diocesan seminary in which the first native diocesan priests were trained. The Pierists worked in the seminary as well as at St. Joseph's School, which had previously been run by the Jesuits. Following Archbishop Sancho's death in 1787, the Pierists returned to Spain. They wouldn't t returned to the Philippines until 1995, and they now have communities on the islands of Luzon, Cebu, and Mindanao. Two attempts were made to establish a purist presence in the Caribbean in the 19th century. Following the Spanish War of Independence, which ended in 1812, many purists left Spain and went to Cuba, where they worked in various ministries. Bishop Anthony M. Claret asked the Pierists to establish a college for the formation of Cuban teachers in Guanabacoa, and the first canonical foundation established in the Americas was in Cuba in 1857. In 1941, the first Pierist Cuban novitiate was opened in Guanabacoa, all previous Cuban novices having gone to Spain for their novitiate. In 1897, the Pierists established the first teacher. S. College in Puerto Rico in Santerce, but the fathers returned to Spain following the Spanish-American War. The Pierists would return to Puerto Rico in June 1956 to work at Our Lady of Montserrat Parish in Salinas and at the Catholic University of Puerto Rico in 1960. The parish was quite large with 20,000 parishioners, and after the Pierists left the parish in 1961, eight Pierists began teaching Cuban refugee children. The provincial delegation of New York and Puerto Rico was erected on August 30, 1960, and the House of Ponce was canonically established on November 26, 1960. The Pierists opened a community in San Juan in 1966. Meanwhile, the Pierists from Spain began establishing communities throughout Central and South America, establishing vice provinces in Colombia 1956, Brazil 1958, Central America 1960, Chile 1960, and Venezuela 1960. The first Pierist province in the Americas was established in 1964 in Argentina, which was followed by the establishment of the Pierist province of the United States 1975 and Mexico 1990. The Pierists established a presence in Bolivia in 1992, which became a vicariate in 2007. In 2017, the Pierists opened a house in Peru. The Pierists established their first school in the United States in New Orleans in the early 20th century, but it did not last long. They would try again in New Orleans in 1963, but after one year they departed. 
it would not be until the beginning of World War II that they would succeed in establishing a foundation in the United States. In the summer of 1940, a Spanish peerist, Fr. Enrique Pobla went to Los Angeles to examine the possibilities for a foundation. In October 1944, Archbishop John Cantwell of Los Angeles offered the peerists the care of St. Martha Parish in Vernon, and Fr. Pobla celebrated his first Mass at the parish on the Saturday before the Solemnity of Christ the King. In May 1947, the Peerists were offered the care of Our Lady of Guadalupe Parish in Pasadena, and in 1951, the Archbishop entrusted to them Mary Help of Christians Parish in East Los Angeles. The rectory was too small, so in 1953, they purchased a house near the parish for $15,500. It was the first property owned by the Peerists in California. In 1955, Fr. Angel Torah became the first peerist assigned to teach at a diocesan high school. In 1960, Cardinal McIntyre entrusted them with St. Bernard High School in Playa del Rey. Following the Second World War, peerists from Eastern Europe were sent to the United States, with the first four arriving in Los Angeles in 1949, but the Archbishop said that he did not have work for them to do since they could not speak English well. Meanwhile, Bishop John O'Hara of Buffalo was contacted by two different peerists and said that he would welcome the peerists into his diocese. Father Joseph Batori arrived in New York City on June 16, 1949, and after a couple of days left for Lackawanna, where there were many Hungarian refugees living in the area. He was assigned to St. Thomas Aquinas Parish, where he celebrated daily Mass and assisted on weekends, and he taught Latin at Bishop Timon, a diocesan high school. More Hungarian peerists soon arrived, and after the summer of 1950, Bishop O'Hara offered the peerists the use of a farmhouse in Lackawanna. By the end of the year, there were eleven peerists nine from Hungary and two from Poland living in the farmhouse as a community, and they called themselves the Founding Fathers. Father Batori found a house that he liked in Derby, that had been designed by Frank Lloyd Wright, and in 1951, it became the first canonical peerist house. On May 8, 1954, Father Louis Kovari became the first peerist ordained in the United States. That same year, the peerists established a house of studies in Washington, D.C., and the following year, the peerists bought the former Lee estate in Devon, PA and opened Devon Preparatory School in it the following year. The following year, the peerists opened a school for gifted children in Buffalo. In 1961, Bishop Coleman Carroll of Miami offered the Peerists Cardinal Gibbons High School, which had just been built in Fort Lauderdale. The province of the USA was established in 1975, and in 2011 it merged with the Vice Province of New York and Puerto Rico to become the province of the United States and Puerto Rico. In 1990, back in New York City, in 1953, the Peerists were given permission to reside in the rectory of St. Nicholas Church, and in 1957, Cardinal Spellman gave his permission to create a canonical house. The Peerists bought the building, and they owned it until 1978 when they were entrusted with Annunciation Parish in Upper Manhattan. The Peerists were entrusted with St. Helena Parish and St. Helena School in the Bronx in 2014. Africa is the most recent continent on which the Peerists established communities and schools. The Peerists first went to Africa in 1963, establishing an apostolic mission in the Senegal, which became a vice province in 1997 and then the West African province in 2013 along with Guinea-Gabon. They began working in Equatorial Guinea in 1970, and in 1990, some priests from Poland began working in the Cameroon, which became a vicariate in 2000, a vice province in 2007, and the Central African province in 2013. The two newest African countries in which the Peerists open communities are the Congo in 2014 and Mozambique in 2017. Topic: <inaudible> Order of Poor Clerics Regular of the Mother of God of the Pious Schools. Topic: The order was restored in 1656 by Pope Alexander VIII, who revived the congregation, but without its earlier privileges, such as solemn vows granted by Gregory XV and added to the simple vows an oath of perseverance in the congregation. In addition to the usual three vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience, the privileges of the order were successively restored in 1660, 1669, and 1698. 
In 1669, Pope Clement IX restored the Pierists to the condition of regulars. The Pierists are exempt from episcopal jurisdiction and subject only to their general superior, who is elected every six years by the general chapter. A general procurator with four assistants resides at Rome. In virtue of a brief of Alexander VIII, 1690, they cease to be discalced. The members are divided into professed, novices, and lay brethren. The professed usually add the letters SCHP or SP, which means pious schools, after their name, to connote the name of the order, Scholarum Pierum. Their habit is very similar to that of the Jesuits, a cassock closed in front and a cincture with hanging bands on the left side, although they usually follow the local customs regarding clerical apparel. Their two mottos are ad magis pietatis incrementum and pietas et literae. Today, there are over 1,400 purist religious found chiefly in Italy, Spain, Poland, Hungary, Slovakia, Latin America, West Africa, India, and the Philippines. There is also a growing number of purist lay associates. The order is currently present on five continents Europe, Asia, Africa, North America, and South America and in 36 countries. In 2017, the order will celebrate the 400th anniversary of the establishment of the religious community on March 25, 1617, by St. Joseph Calisans, as well as the 250th anniversary of the canonization of St. Joseph Calisans, which took place on July 17, 1767. Pope Francis imparted a special apostolic blessing on 27 November 2016, the opening day of the Jubilee year. He also declared that a special plenary indulgence would be granted in all churches, chapels, shrines, and parishes where the purest fathers are present to all of the faithful on the occasion of a jubilee celebration, provided they have fulfilled the other necessary requirements to gain the indulgence. Education <inaudible> 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 Before the course of study was regulated by the state, a purist establishment contained nine classes, reading, writing, elementary mathematics, shola parva or rudimentorum, shola principiorum, grammatica, syntaxis, humanitas or poesis and rhetorica. One of the most famous purists, priest Stanislaw Konarski, was the reformer of the Polish education system in the 18th century. To honor his faithful duty, the Polish king Stanislaw August Poniatowski created the Sapere Auso Medal. The order's influence led to the subsequent establishment of many other congregations dedicated to education. There are eleven religious teaching orders now in existence that are based on Kalasans. S. Ideas. The founder and order have also had influence on many great educators, such as Saint Jean-Baptiste de La Salle in the 18th century, and Saint John Bosco, his great admirer, in the 19th century. The influence of the pious schools served as the model for state public school systems in some European countries. The order has educated many important figures in modern history, including a number of saints like Saint John Newman and Saint Josemaria Escriva, figures like Pope Pius IX, Victor Hugo, Haydn, Schubert, Johann Mendel, and a dozen Nobel Prize winners like George Hevesy and George Law. Topic <laughs> motto. Topic. The motto of the Purist Fathers is Pietas et literae, piety and learning, and at the bottom of most purist documents are the initials, AMPI, which when translated mean, for the glory of God and the service of our neighbor. The special purist motto for the 400th anniversary jubilee year in 2017 is, to educate, announce, and to transform. Topic. Notable purists. Topic. Ottavio Aceroti, Italian philanthropist and founder of the first Italian school for the deaf Philip of St. James, who edited the chief sentences of the Maxima Sanctorum Patrum Bibliotheca Lyons, 1719 Arne. Zeglitsky, whose Bibliotheca Nomico Hister, Symbolic, Politica was published at Warsaw in 1742 Alexis A. S. Andrea Alexi d. 1761, moral theologian Antonius A. Santo Justo, author of Shola Pia Aristotelico Thomistica Saragossa, 1745 
Ferenc Dijk (1803–1876), Hungarian statesman and Minister of Justice. Peter Esterházy (1950–2016), Hungarian writer. Laurent Iatvos (1848–1919), Hungarian physicist. Franz Lahar (1870–1948), Austro-Hungarian composer. Sandor Petofi (1823–1849), Hungarian poet and liberal revolutionary. Karoli Zipernowski (1853–1942), Hungarian electrical engineer. Stanislaw Konarski, d. 1773, famous Polish pedagogue, reformer of education. Gottfried S. Elizabeth Ulick, d. 1794, professor of heraldry and numismatics. Augustine Odebrina, who was actively associated with Gottfried Leibniz. Adrian Roch, historian. Joseph Fengler, d. 1802, Bishop of Rob, now Gier. Remigius Dottler, professor of physics at the University of Vienna. Franz Lang, rector of the same university. The general Giovanni Ingirami, d. 1851, astronomer. Johann Nepomuk Ehrlich, d. 1864, professor of theology at the University of Prague. A. Leonetti, author of a biography of Alexander VI, Bologna, 1880. Ernesto Balducci, author, philosopher and peace activist. Filippo Cecchi, Karl Feierfeld, mathematician, and Franz Krauss, philologian. In his Life of Saint Joseph Calasanctius, Tosetti gives a list of 54 who between 1615 and 1756 died edifying deaths, among them Blessed Peter Cassani, d. 1647, the first novice master of the order, the fourth superior general, Venerable Glycerius Landriani, d. 1618, Cosimo Chiara, d. 1688, Petrus Andreas Tokshoni, d. 1672, the lay brother Philip Bozio, d. 1662, Antonio Musha, d. 1665, and Eusebius Amoretti, d. 1685. Saint Pompilius Maria Parati, d. 1766, was famous for being a saintly spiritual director. Blessed Faustino Miguez, d. 1925, was a famous educator, scientist, and founder of the Calasanzian Sisters in Spain. Blessed Dionysius Pamplona was a holy master of novices, pastor and rector in Buenos Aires and Peralta de la Salle, and was the first purist killed in the fulfillment of his priesthood during the Spanish Civil War d. 1936. Other purists known for their sanctity and pedagogical abilities with children in the last century have been Pedro Diaz Gil d. 1983 and Joaquin Erviti d. 1999. Notes Topic. Topic. Sources and references Topic. Chisholm, Hugh, ed. 1911. Purists. Encyclopædia Britannica. 21 11th ed. Cambridge University Press. p. 574. P. Heliot, Histoire des Ordres Religieuses, 1715, IV. 281. J. A. Seyfert, Ordensregeln der Piristen, Halle, 1783. J. Schaller, Gedanken über die Ordensfassung der Piristen, Prague, 1805. A. Heimbecker, Orden und Kongregationen, 1897, e. 271. Articles by O. Zockler in Herzog Hoch's Real Encyclopädie für Protestantische Theologie, 1904, Volume XV. C. Neil in Wetzer and Welts Kirchen Lexicon, 1895, Volume X, for Calisans. C. Timon David, Vie de Saint Joseph Calisans, Marseille, 1884. Topic. External links. Topic. General Curia of the Peerists, official website Peerists in the USA Peerists in Spain Peerists in Poland Peerists in Austria Peerists in Hungary Peerists in Italy Peerists in Slovakia Peerist parish in France Peerists in Japan and Philippines Peerist vocations